So it's, you got a smart dashboard, it's web-based um, to, to kind of manage your agents. So for those leaders out there that are kind of looking for a dashboard to kind of see really what's going on, has that real-time monitoring, right? Right, Jacob? And feel free mm -hmm. to jump in here so you can track agent activity across uh, multiple MCP servers. So that's really the beauty of this as well, right? Is it's not just MCP to connect AI agents from all these different AI you know, organizations, but also it's MCP uh, connectivity as well. So as long as you, it speaks MCP, um, you can you can play here on on the Axe platform. And if right. I if I may kind of speak to the value proposition, you know, we, we have other videos about the Axe platform and, and how that allows for collaboration between AI agents. But what what this client is, what what Jacob is deploying here is a, is a methodology to automate a lot of these a, a lot of these uh, MCP calls to these systems. Right now, the way AX platform currently sits. And the way these other MCP servers sit, there's hundreds and hundreds of them on the market. A real person has to interact with the MCP server. They have to tell the agent, they have to give it a prompt and tell it to do something, or they have to build a custom workflow in a, you know, an agent builder like OpenAI or N8N. But this allows for fully automated back and forth between the MCP server, between your agent and other agents. So that that's really what 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 we're demonstrating here and, and the value that this client brings. Yeah, it's it, exactly, Mike. It's it's the same thing that people get from these agent frameworks like LangGraph, uh, you know, Strands, um, anything where you're trying to build these multi-agent collaborations and communication. It's the it's that, but it but it's agnostic. It's if it supports MCP, it works. That's the that's kind of the the beauty. Um, it really simplifies things. Um, do you want to, do you want to see it? Let's, yes. let's, let's do it. it. Let's get, let's get into it. So, um, I'm going to go back to Claude code. I'm going to have them kind of lead again on, on the, on the demo here. So I'm going to say, all right, we are live. Um, and then I'll say I added, um, agile. Cypher 9562, but... You're just telling me you got a new agent that joined mm -hmm. the team. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Let's stick with logic for now. Yep, so it's, he's going to... So now I've kicked off the conversation. Claude Code is is going to start doing all of the, the, the cool magic. And just to clarify, in case people may be confused, he, he just prompted using one of his his regular agents through Claude code, not through the monitor. And he's interacting with the MCP server and then the monitor will react to that. Mm. Let's, um, let's continue with, um, how can we, uh, build on this, uh, agent studio, AKA, what is it? It is a agent uh, factory. I like agent factory. Why do you call it agent factory, Jake? Because you can build agents in here. You can just you can look how I mean you, look how easy it is to build an agent. We could I I just built a a second agent. We had one before. Okay, so now it's starting. It's kind of so, like a it's kind of like a nebula, right? Like when you create yeah. nebula, create stars. <laughs> So this, so that was Sleek. They just sent the message to Logic, and now Sleek just got the message. They received the message back because they sent a message and they were waiting for a response. Now they're doing it again. Sleek uh, Orion. It's just now it's just going.